Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's another Frilici Friday. And hopefully we don't have like all of the crazy in and out that we had uh, last week. Was, I don't always watch the videos like afterwards, but I happen to have some time and hey Kay, um, popped on to watch, hey Jamie, hello. And it was like, it just kept cutting me off. Like I was talking and I'm like, no, I know I said more than that. So anyway, and I love this. So totally, I think Facebook has a new feature where like Kay and Jamie, I, you guys are on here and hey Susie, Thank you for joining. It says, bring them on camera. And then there's like a little arrow that makes me think if I pushed on it, like you guys would show up too. If anybody's willing to do it, let me know. Cause I would love to like see what that looks like. So yeah, anyway, I don't know. Like, you know, if you're in your PJs or something or your hair is all over the place, like mine would totally be if I were not doing this, right? I would never want you to do that. So I won't click on it unless someone says I can. So anyway, well, welcome guys. Um, hopefully you guys have had another good week. It's like the the days and the weeks and the months now are just kind of like all rolling together so hopefully we'll be like you know what in june at least here in michigan we've been told we have to stay at home um, basically through the end of the month so i'm hoping after that i have so many things that i want to do down at the studio and i keep it's like do i try to plan it or not so Anyway, we will figure it out. But um, yeah, so, and if you um, have not joined me before on Facebook Live, welcome to anybody new. We are going to be featuring our product of the week this week. This is the beautiful Friendship Stamp Set. Hello, Philomena. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. So we will make a couple of projects with this stamp set. Um, the glare is weird. Um, we'll make a couple of projects in a little bit on our Facebook Live with this stamp set. And just so you guys know, like we do every single week, if you put in an online order of at least $30, um, anytime this week until next Wednesday at midnight, you'll get the projects that I make with this stamp set. Your name is also going to go into a fun drawing that we do every Friday. And if you bump your order up to $50, you get either a free embellishment or the 16 project demo design dream team PDF tutorial. So so keep an eye out um, for the fun projects that we'll make in just a little bit. Um, also, just so you know, after uh, Facebook Live is done, I get everything uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. There'll be pictures of the projects that I'm going to demonstrate on Facebook Live. And then also all of the colors and dimensions and item product codes, everything that you need to order to be able to recreate any of those projects. So, um... Let's see, what else? I'm always trying to make sure I cover the basic. Oh, yeah, and you actually, you'll get either the make and takes or those completed cards too. I think I mentioned that, right? Um, I always have these notes because I, you know, I, say, I talk and I talk and I talk and then I'm like, what did I say? Because um, I try to be super organized. <laughs> In my mind, I am, you know. Anyway, hey, Nikki, hello. I'm glad you guys, you can join us. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, oh, okay, so I'm gonna jump right in because I am so excited about this. So, because I don't even know, I've been checking my mailbox for like two weeks straight, I feel like, because Sam and Up said they were gonna send catalogs out to us. I still don't know whether my individual catalog came. Um, I have to check my mail now that I say that. But on the back door, I got a couple of boxes just yesterday and guess what they had inside I ordered a bunch of the new Stampin Up annual catalog so if you haven't seen this is the cover of the new catalog I cannot unfortunately show you the inside of it but what I can kind of show you is it's not um, as big they actually kind of I would say pared it down a little bit it's 192 pages now I'm curious I forget how many pages are in um, this year's the current almost done. Yeah, 212 pages in this one. What did I say? 212 and 192. So 20 pages less. So yeah, it is, and it feels a lot um, thinner. You just got yours yesterday, G or uh, Nikki. Oh my goodness, I it's weird. I don't know. There was a, a demonstrator that I know in Canada that Lily saw on Facebook because I follow, we follow her on Facebook, and Lily helps me with Facebook. She's like, Mom, she was posing with a picture of her catalog. And I, I, I swear it was like two weeks ago that she got her catalog. So I've been like, if she got hers in Canada, we should be getting ours here. I don't know, maybe they shipped them a little bit differently up in Canada. So 
Yeah, anyway, well, okay, that's good to know, Nikki, at least, so I'm not going crazy. But yeah, so woohoo. I, you guys, the crazy thing is, I have not even sat down. Well, it was only yesterday that they came, but I am hoping this weekend to be able to sit down and like really just relax and enjoy this catalog. I love, my favorite thing with this annual catalog is to be able to sit outside and just kind of flip through it. And I always have my little notebook to make all my notes of everything that I want to order and what we're going to do with it and all that fun stuff. I, I don't like to just flip through it super fast. Like I really want to like devour it like page by page. So that's my hope is this weekend that I can get to do that. And with that being said, if you do not um, have a demonstrator and would like me to send you one of these catalogs, please let me know. You can comment right on here. Philomene, you haven't gotten yours either yet. Okay, I'm feeling better. I was thinking I was like the last one and you know, the post office like lost my catalog or something. So, okay, good to know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so back to what I was saying, if you're not a demonstrator or if you don't have a demonstrator that you order through and you would like me to send you a catalog, I would be happy to do that. So just let me know. Pam, hello, welcome, I'm glad you could join us. And speaking of, um, Pam and any of my current class and club members, I will make sure to have these catalogs for you. I'm gonna put them out on the porch. Um, if so, if you're ordering, I'll slip them right in your bag. Or if you're local, if you don't have an order that you need to pick up and you wanna get a catalog, I will have catalogs out on the porch. I wanna be a little careful because it's been really like wet and ugly and I don't want them to get icky. Um, I had a few catalogs out there, the ones that were highlighted with all the retiring stuff and the rain kind of came in and they made them kind of icky. And those, you know, they're kind of on the way out so I'm not that worried, but these are like precious and new so I want to take good care of them. So let me know if you need a catalog, I'll put one out there in a bag or something for you so we can keep it nice and fresh, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. So like I said, we cannot open up the inside of this catalog yet. I think it's because all of those icky like knockoff companies um they like take pictures you know of things that are in this catalog and then they try to make them themselves and sell them super cheap and they're really poor quality so i think that's like that's my guess i have no idea but that's my guess is that's why they don't want us to show the inside um kind of artwork until um, the catalog goes live but i am i you know i think i mentioned that my um, pre-order was coming and i don't want to overwhelm you guys first of all because you can't order any of this stuff quite yet unless like with that being said if you are dying to get some of this new annual catalog product like right this minute get the starter kit you can order new catalog product in your starter kit if you want more info on that just let me know i won't go into lots of details it's the regular starter kit deal though where you pick can pick $125 in brand new, new annual catalog product, only pay $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. So if you want more details, let me know on that. Um, but like I said, I don't wanna show too much new stuff because you can't in general get it yet, but I am, I wanna show you guys the new in colors because I am super excited about these. So this is kind of, I have, um, <clears throat> just gonna flash this up here full packs of cardstock you can see well i think we could order a couple we were pretty limited on what we could order too and actually um i will say they've already posted that a bunch of these things are like selling much more quickly than they thought so it's almost like they're on low inventory for us as demonstrators to order already i think you know i'm sure and you guys have probably experienced this in other you know online ordering that you're doing like everything's just taking a little bit longer so i'm thinking maybe even like the manufacturer of these products because of covid 19 and then the shipping even like the picking packing that happens at stampin up they're working um, different shifts than they normally do to try to keep people more separated and cleaning in between things so shipping is taking longer so kind of with all that being said I guess I would kind of forewarn you that even when the catalog goes live, I bet some things are gonna be on back order super quickly and things are gonna be on low inventory and that sort of thing. So just kind of mentally be prepared for that. I'm trying to like tell myself that too because I wanna get everything and use it and play with it and I wanna do class to go kits and all these other things and I know I need to be a little bit careful um, with that. So anyway, with that all being said, I'm just kind of saying just, be forewarned a little bit that things, shipping's definitely taking longer and maybe some things might take a little bit longer to, um, to get to you. So what is Nikki saying? First time in a while uh, <laughs> that you like all, she's saying all of the new in colors. Usually she's not too excited. I can't see the rest of it, but it's funny. Yeah, that happens for me sometimes too. And a lot of times, um, 
I think there's only been one time when I've been like, oh my God, I love all of those colors. And they were like kind of soft, springy, pale colors, which are not usually like my color family. Um, but I loved all of those. I don't know, that was quite a few years ago. Hey, Michelle. Um, and you have a long list. Okay, yes. What is Jamie saying? You have a long list of things. I think that they're in stock. So yeah, but order them, Jamie, order them as soon as you can because there's a bunch that's already on low inventory. It's just, which is kind of mind blowing. Like, I don't know, I guess um, us as demonstrators, we're so limited to how many things we can even order too, which um, kind of that being said, well, I'll get into more of that later. Anyway, so hello, Rosemary. Okay, so Rosemary, excuse me. Um, I wanna show you guys like individually the ink colors and give you guys the names, okay? So this first one <clears throat> is a really pretty kind of a bright pink. Um, uh, yeah, Jamie, I know, I know. That's why I did that. So, okay, Jamie's saying her pre-order still hasn't shipped after nine days. That, well, I think because probably everybody hopped online that very first day we could pre-order. Um, so they're struggling probably to keep up. Um, but just so you know, I mean, I hate to do this, but I did pay, if you can pay like $20 extra and have your order like expedited, so it's UPS two day shipping and it really happens that way. So something to think about. Um, I don't know if you're not in a huge rush, then don't do that. But yeah, it is a little frustrating right now. I know, I know I've mentioned that too, but we just have to be patient and things will get back to normal someday and like shipping and all of that will get back to normal too. Hey Debbie, thank you for sharing. So, okay, so back to, this is, I don't even know the names yet. Magenta Madness is the first one. Then we have Bumblebee, which this was the one that, oh, there we go, sorry. The funny glare. Um, this was the one that is actually in that, um, what's the new suite? I can't think of the name of it. The new suite that we can already order that I've already showed you guys stuff. Um, uh, why can't I think of it? Ornate Garden, that's what it is, the Ornate Garden Suite. Remember when I flipped, you guys might not, but it was like this moment for me. Um, I flipped on the back of the Designer Series paper, that Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, and it always gives you the names of all of the cardstock colors that are coordinating, and one of them was Bumblebee, and I was like, there's no Bumblebee color. Well, because it's a brand new in color. So anyway, that was kind of fun. We got like a sneak peek of a name before we even saw any of the colors. Okay. So Misty Moonlight, and this is kind of a dusty blue. I don't know if you guys are getting a good picture, but it's a really pretty, like a, like I said, kind of a dusty blue. Misty Moonlight, I'm trying to like memorize these. Cinnamon Cider, yep, Cinnamon Cider. This is gonna be a great fall color. And again, that one feels a little, <laughs> there's such a glare too, you're seeing like my furniture. Hey Diana, how are you? So Cinnamon Sugar, Cinnamon sh Cider, Cinnamon Cider. I'm probably going to call it, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be calling it, calling it cinnamon sugar. <laughs> Oops. Okay. And then this one is just jade. So can you see it's a pretty green? They all have, so Philomena, you're liking the bumblebee and the cinnamon cider. Those are like the more neutral colors. Isn't that funny? I'm probably a little more drawn to the brighter colors. Um, but they all, I feel like, have a little bit of a, a dusty feel. Even in that light, they don't. Maybe maybe on my table, they look a little more dusty. Anyway, um, that pink looks super vibrant, but it's funny when I put it down um, on my table, they all, like I said, it's um, a little dusty, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so they're beautiful though. So we're gonna have lots of fun playing with the new in colors. And I have to show you, so the ribbon too. Let's get these kind of situated around here. So we have bolts of all, can you guys see all of the different colors of um, in color ribbon too. So can we do this? Bumblebee, Just Jade, is it Misty Moonlight, um, Cinnamon Cider, and Magenta, right? Wasn't it? What was this one? Yeah, Magenta Madness. And I opened one up. The teal, yes, you like, wait, which one are you, which one are you calling teal? So Diana likes the jade, which is the green, and the magenta, the pink. Yeah, Diana, I think I know you said magenta is one of your favorite colors. Oh, that color is very popular, the teal one. I'm thinking, I don't know, which one do you mean? 
Pam. Hey, Sharon. And you love the cinnamon. This is good. This is fun. There's like a, not a real consensus. You guys are loving all of these colors. Jade. Yes. You want the, you like the green, Pam. Gotcha. Yep. The just jade. I think that one is that kind of pretty green. Yes. They're all beautiful. So, okay. I opened one up. I didn't open them all up, but, um, it is, what are they calling this? Uh, wrong side. Does it? Oh, it doesn't say it just says magenta madness. Usually they give me well, it says it's 100% polyester. <laughs> Sharon loves all of them. Good answer, Sharon. So I don't know. Can you guys see? There's a little bit of texture to it. Um, I think it's, I'm going to tie a bow for you because I want you to see. I think it's it's not um, shimmery, slidey so much. Those are beautiful, but sometimes they're a little bit harder to make um, a bow with. And I think these are a little bit softer, more pliable. You're going to make a bow, like you're going to be able to make a bow very easily. So can you see that? Yeah, so there's your magenta madness in a bow. It's beautiful. Yeah, I want you guys to, it's funny because I watched a video with um, Shelly Gardner and Sarah Douglas, the CEO and former CEO um, of Stampin' Up! And they were kind of showing us stuff and they kept like feeling everything and they're like, oh, you have to feel this. And it really is true, especially with the ribbon. So anyway, beautiful ribbon and beautiful in colors. We are going to have some fun with those colors, aren't we? I'm excited to use those. We're getting close. We're getting close. I've just kind of started playing with things. Um, so, oh, and speaking of playing with things, okay, guys, I know I had that super quick turnaround time for online bingo, and I need three more people. You are going to get an awesome swag bag with some of our new catalog product. I'm basically giving you kind of a sampler of things because, like, for example, ribbon, we were only ordered, able to order, like, two packages. I'm going to show you this other ribbon right now because you're going to get some of this ribbon in your swag bag. This is called the Flowers for Every Season. It's a ribbon combo pack. So I'm gonna kind of just open that up so you guys can see. So it's three different bolts of ribbon. And I should have opened. I have this one open. So the first one is, um, I have to get these colors. Misty Moonlight. Yep, so this is like a Misty Moonlight. It's a baker's twine. I did get you for bingo, Nikki. Yes, thank you. Okay, and Philomena, I'll put you down. Okay, so now I need two people for bingo, okay? Because I was able to order, like I said, two um, packages of everything so I can accommodate um, like two more people, okay? Yes, you love the three. I know it's beautiful. They did a few of those too, Susie, where you get like a combo pack of things. Okay, so this one, like I said, it's kind of the um, misty moonlight and then it's silver. So it's kind of a silver wrap. Really pretty baker's twine. Oh, thank you for asking, Susan. I should have mentioned that. So it is $49 for online bingo if you need everything shipped to you, which clearly you would because you're down in Florida, I think, right? Um, it's $41 if you don't need it shipped to you because it's $8 for priority mail shipping. So local is $41 and online shipped, well, I should say um, far away basically shipped to you is 49 did I say that right 41 local 49 away okay okay so let's see I think I've got my three then so Kay you want to you want me to put you down and Susan I think you said you want me to put you down okay so I think I've got my three okay awesome thank you guys because I knew it was a super quick turnaround time and I already ordered everything and I ordered enough um, just for eight people to play bingo with us okay so I've got you all right I'll go back and read all these comments. So I've got Susan, Kay, and Philomena. We are off, we are full. Okay, thank you guys so much. That is awesome. You guys are gonna love. I can send you PayPal links. Um, if you've gotten my email, you can just click on the links right there. Or like I said, I can um, send you the, yep, I'll send you an invoice, Susan. Okay, we'll do that later. Okay, so yeah, so we are gonna use, actually this, um, we use some of this Baker's Twine on one of our make and takes. And then you're gonna get little samples. I should open these, cause I want you to see. Plus, I haven't felt all of these either. Okay. I should have done this before, sorry. I was thinking I would just kind of show you these things. Now they're being funny for me. So this is the kind of triple combo pack, the flowers for every season it's called. I always have a hard time getting that little plastic off. I try not to like cut my ribbon. Okay, so here we'll show you. This one is just kind of, it's a basic white 
Ooh, but it's kind of, I would say it's kind of linen-y. <laughs> yes, it will be your first. We do it on a Facebook group too. So just like this, I set up a separate Facebook group. So watch for that. I will send you an invitation so that you can be a part of the Facebook group. And then we'll hop online and we will do um, bingo online on a Facebook group. The one thing, Nikki, thank you so much for your suggestion too. In the past, I would call bingo cards and then just show them and you could like usually hear me. But we had a problem. I think it was really windy when we played um, back in January, February, whenever the last one was. And so people couldn't hear me and it kept cutting in and out. So what I learned was I need to flip the camera down like when we do the um, projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in a little bit. And I will do bingo with the camera down so I can show, you know, I'll call the cards and then I'll have them on um, the surface here too so you can see everything that I'm calling also. So I think that will help us too. Okay, okay, so yeah, back to, I gotta show you the ribbon, right? Okay, so, cause my favorite is always the ribbon. So this is, like I said, it's a basic white, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna say it's at least a half an inch wide. I don't have, it's funny, cause sometimes they give you info on these, but these combo packs, there's no info. Anyway, it's very, very pretty. And then, oops, not that one yet. I have to show you that in a sec. Here's the third one in the pack. This is a gingham. Can you see if I don't move, right? Just Jade Gingham Ribbon. Okay, so that is those four. Aren't those, okay, we'll get, go away, Blair. There it is. Isn't that such a pretty combo pack? Again, the Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Combo Pack. And you will be getting a little sampler of those in your swag bag for bingo. Okay, the other one, and we're actually going to use this. They are very pretty, aren't they, Susan? Um, this one is super cool, too. This one is called, it's an early espresso, a faux suede trim. This is the one that Sarah and Shelly were like, oh, you have to feel this. Because it really feels like suede, this ribbon does. Um, it's super dark, like, you know, that early espresso, super dark brown. <laughs> yeah, I know, Susan, I'm the same way. My keyboard doesn't like me. I have to like fix at most everything that I type. So yeah, but we're going to use this ribbon on the make and takes also. So, um, this one is, mm, I don't know how wide, maybe three eighths of an inch. Um, and this will be a good, easy one. You can tie a nice bow with it. It's, it's a little bit sturdier. Um, but if you wanted to tie a bow, you could, although I think of this as like, maybe more for masculine cards that I tend to just not make bows, do like little strips, but it's very, very cool. Love that ribbon. So you're gonna get a little sampler of this and we're gonna use it on our make and takes also. And, oh, then, okay, so these are the new 2020-22 in color enamel dots. Okay, so I just have to show you guys those. So in all, five of our in colors, and it looks like you get however many that is, um, two rows of each of our in colors. And you can see we're gonna use a couple of those little babies on our make and takes also. So that was the fun I got to have last weekend was putting make and takes together for bingo because I wanted to make sure I had everything that I needed. And like I said, I just ordered um, the other day. So, and I sent that two day shipping too because I'm like, I cannot wait two weeks to get the bingo stuff. So I'm gonna get it and then I'll get everything cut and packed and prepped. And my plan is to have it shipped out next Wednesday so that you should have plenty of time because that'll be a full week. I'm gonna send it priority mail shipping. So fingers crossed. I will put your bingo boards in there. Um, I will also have copies of the bingo boards, so just in case something happens, you don't get your package in time, you'll still be able to play bingo. You just have to do your make and takes later. So we're gonna cross our fingers that that doesn't happen though. So, okay. Um, any other new stuff to show you guys? I think, I think we're good for new stuff. I'm just gonna show you a little bit at a time, um, each, each week maybe, yeah. So, um, but yeah, those in colors, we're gonna have a lot of fun with those. Okay, um, yep, 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 okay, I think we're good. Um, oh, all right, so let's do our first drawing. We are gonna draw, move these scissors out of the way so I don't like hurt myself. Okay, so these are the clear faceted gems. We are drawing for these now, already sold out, both the, both the clear and the gold, so this is the only way you can get this package, is if you shared last week's Facebook Live video or new to me and just signed up for my email list. So we've got a bunch of names in here. Thank you so much for all of your shares. Keep doing that this week. Share this video as many times as you can all week long up until next Thursday night. I count the shares. Your name is in here as many times as you share. I love your comments and your likes and your loves too because 
Facebook likes that also, and then they like share this with more people to get it into more people's news feeds, which helps me reach more people. And it's great, especially right now for small businesses, right? We can use all the help we can get. Uh, so, okay, here we go. We're gonna do our first drawing for those clear faceted gems. And it's funny, every name that I write on as I do this, I'm like, I say a little hello, and I say a little good luck, and then I toss your name in the little bin. So it's always fun to see who got the most luck this week, right? So, okay, one name right here, Miss Debbie Green. Congratulations, Miss Debbie. Awesome, okay, I will get the clear faceted gems sent out to you, Miss Debbie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, um, so this week we are, actually I gotta dump those out too. So I get my little bin here ready for the next drawing. This week I'm gonna give, because I'm so limited, I really want to give away new product, and we're just so limited on what we can get right now, and I'm kind of hoarding it to use like for bingo and to like show things, and I just don't even have that much yet. So anyway, instead, because I think this is awesome too, I'm going to give away four free handmade cards, and they all feature, yes, Debbie's on here, that's awesome, um, they all feature some celebration products on them. So you can see you're going to get this little sampler pack of handmade cards if you share the video uh, or sign up for my email list, okay? So we'll do the drawing for these four cards on next Friday's Facebook Live, okay? And soon I will, like in June, I'll be able to have a bunch of new product. It's just, yeah, it's driving me crazy. I want, I want lots of new product to be able to give away to you guys too. Um, okay, so we'll scoot those out of the way. So I have to give a quick shout out. We had another brand new team member, Pam Facting, uh, who just bought the starter kit in April, has already met her $300 quarterly minimum. So woo, 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 go Pam. My team has been doing so well. I'm so excited for you guys. I think you're all out there like sharing, especially right now, the retired list, right? Telling everybody that you know, oh my gosh, make sure you get what you want before it's gone. And it's funny because I, I feel like I'm kind of like a broken record and you guys are like, she says that all the time. But then I run into people every single like day and week that are like, oh my gosh, I forgot about the retiring lists. So I'm gonna say it again, because you never know who is listening and maybe didn't hear it before, but just make sure that you get online. I think that's the easiest way. These are not my highlighted catalogs, but um, many, 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 many things in both of these catalogs are going away, okay? So if you go to, the easiest way is go to stampinup.com, click on shop, and then there's a banner that says last chance products. That is the current list of everything that you can still order out of these two catalogs that is retiring. There are some things that are already gone, so they're not even going to show up. Don't worry about those because you can't get those anymore. But um, another thing too that is sometimes confusing for people, there are many uh, bundles in both of these catalogs. Sorry, the lighting's really weird. I'm like trying to figure out where to lean. I should maybe, let's see, I'm gonna turn this light on. I don't normally do that because I think it gives weird light, but it's kind of dark in here, so we'll see. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Um, anyway, so many bundles in here are retiring. The stamp set and either the dies or the punch that goes together with the bundle might not be retiring, but that bundle price where you save 10%, any of those bundles, they're all retiring because that's just what they do. They're in here for a year or for the six months, and then if they make it into the next annual catalog, they're just sold separately. You don't get the bundle price anymore. So any bundle that you want, order that now because you get the bundle price, okay? Um, and some things are just retiring altogether. Some of them, it's the bundle and the stamp set and the dies or the punch. It's all going away. But check out, again, stampinup.com, click on shop and last chance products. It's like a big banner kind of a thing. That's your list of everything that's going away. Some of them are discounted, so check that stuff out too. Good discounts on some things. So, um, but don't miss out. Every year I have people that, you know, are kind of clueless. They didn't realize. And, you know, I live this stuff, so I'm like, oh, how could you not know? But, you know, people don't all live stamping up the way I do, right? Or the way many of us do. So tell everyone that you know that, that you know, things are retiring. And this is it right here the next couple of weeks. These catalogs, I kind of get confused on my date. Oops. I just knocked that over. I gotta make sure the names are still in there. Um, these catalogs, everything is available technically until June 2nd or while supplies last. 
Stamp sets are guaranteed until May 22nd, which is what next? Next Friday. So next Friday after that, everything is all while supplies last only, okay? And embellishments and ribbon and all that stuff is right now while supplies last too, okay? So, but again, through June 2nd, and then anything that's retiring, you cannot order any longer after June 2nd. The new catalog will start on June 3rd, okay? All right, I dumped this thing. I gotta get my names back in here. Okay, good. All right, so now we are gonna do our drawing for, this is the neutrals pack of designer series paper. You can see kind of front and back. What do we have? What are the, oh, I guess it's two grays. This is basic gray and that's probably smoky slate on there. So this pack of designer series paper is already sold out. So this is again, the only way you can get this paper is if you put an online order in of at least $30. Your name is in this bucket right now. You also get the projects, either the fully completed cards, these cards that I demonstrated last week, or the make and takes if you want to do your stamping and put everything together yourself you just let me know that okay if you bumped your order up to fifty dollars you also got the choice between the 16 project demo design dream team pdf tutorial we'll do a quick flip maybe we'll go the other way i think i went one way okay so there you can kind of see it's all oh, the colors aren't very good or the lighting sorry I'm no lighting wizard, right? Anyway, so 16 projects, lots and lots of detail on exactly how to make everything. So you pick, $50 order, you could get either the PDF tutorial or the free package of pearls. Either one, if you bumped your order up to $50. But meanwhile, we're gonna do your drawing right now for the Neutrals Designer Series Paper Stack. Okay, so anybody that puts their online order in is in here. And we will do the drawing now, okay. You guys are all so sweet saying your congratulations to everybody. I love how gracious everyone is on here. Yes, it's good to be gracious, isn't it? Okay, all right, we have one name and it is Miss Susie Meekumber. Can we get that? Uh, there, okay, there we are. Miss Susie, congratulations. Okay, I will get your designer series paper, the neutrals paper pack to you, probably with your order that's coming very soon. Okay. What are we gonna do now? Oh, well, let me tell you what we are gonna give away. I'm kind of on a roll here with these paper packs. <laughs> oh, you're sweet, Kay. Your name was in there too, I know. It's funny, I want everybody to win. Like I said, when I write people's names on there, I'm like, oh, good luck, oh. I always say hello and I always say good luck to everybody. So hopefully next time, Kay, you, your name will be drawn. <laughs> and you're welcome, Susie, that was fun that you are both on here um, and your names are both in there too. So congratulations, Miss Susie, you are very welcome. Okay, so this week here, I'm already like fumbling with my package. We have, this is a pack of the Regals Designer Series paper. So you can see that pretty purple on that one. And then I think that's maybe Shaded Spruce. And I think that that is probably Rich Razzleberry. Okay, so another, I'm not sure if this one is sold out yet or not. I can't remember. I feel like maybe the Neutrals is not. So you could still get this one potentially. I'm trying to get this all because I love, look at these colors, aren't they so pretty? How did I not use this paper pack? I'm like going through all my stuff. I'm like, oh, I didn't use that. Now it's retiring. So let's give it away to one lucky winner next week, okay? So you can see the fun patterns, 10 different colors, all the neutral colors there. So you guys are all so sweet. Okay, so this is what we will draw for next week if you put an online order in of at least $30 using the host code that's on my blog, always at gatheringinspiration.com and I'll give it to you in just a few minutes here when we flip the camera down, okay? So that's what we will draw for next week. It's funny, it's getting like darker and darker outside. It's supposed to actually get nicer. Um, but apparently not yet. Maybe it's gonna rain before that happens. Hold on one sec, I need some water. Mm. Oh, so I cleaned my house yesterday and it's like fabulous right now. <laughs> you know how good it is, how good it feels, right? When you have a clean house, like it never lasts very long, but it's really good right now. I'm like, kids, get the biggest plate you can find if you're gonna eat. So all the crumbs fall on the plate because they'll make a sandwich and they'll use like one of the little plates. I'm like, get the big plate. That way, you know, all the crumbs fall on the plate and not all over the place. So, you know, those crazy kids, they're not, they're not as clean as we want them to be, right? Uh, okay, sorry, off on my tangent there. Okay, 
So the other thing, and it's raining, yeah, Jamie, I know. It's supposed, is it supposed to be nice later for you in Ohio? It is for us, like it's supposed to be kind of weird right now, um, but then later on today it's supposed to be sunny, and I think tomorrow is supposed to be decent too. So hopefully, finally, right, since it's mid-May, let's get spring here, could we? Not 50s either, I want like 60s and 70s for like a while. Because you know what happens around here, we go from like 50s, and then someone like flips a switch and it's like 80s, and there's... Where are the 60s and 70s? I want that for a little while. So yeah, <laughs> Sharon, cleaning, yuck. I know it was not really, it wasn't something I wanted to do, but you know, every once in a while, we just gotta do that. And then I feel really good after it's done. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, kids, they were both at their dad's and I was like, you guys have to come over and help me clean. Okay, that, you know, they both came over pretty quickly, which I was kind of amazed at. And then um, neither one of them did an awful lot. So they were a little bit of a help. Uh, Lily wasn't feeling well, I guess. So I'm like, I'll give her that. She's usually a very good helper. So she'll be back at some point. I'm like, I left a couple things for her so she can do those when she is feeling better. So, okay. Oh, I know. So what I wanted to mention, because I am totally struggling because I haven't forgotten. <laughs> yes, Susan, it's hot. Yes, I'm sure in Florida. You guys live in such a different world. I know 80s. That's what I'm talking about, Rosemary. No, I don't want 80s next weekend. I want 70s. I don't want 80s yet. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> uh, I need to find my shorts, my skirts, I guess, anyway, so we can like have clothes for that weather too. Okay, so I keep forgetting what I'm saying. I'm, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Celebration, celebration. I know a bunch of you qualified for it and you're probably all like, whatever happened to that because that's how I feel too so it's in I'm it's in the works I keep hoping that we can actually do like a live celebration celebration event last year we did it mid-may so it was right about now that we did it yeah I'm sure Susan it gets super hot down there now not here yet no never gets super hot here not like where you guys are in Florida um but so I'm holding out hope. The governor has told us, I think, until May 28th. My thought is maybe I'll even do celebration celebration that weekend. I'm sure we're going to learn in the next little bit. I keep trying to decide, do I even wait and do it in June? Because then we could do kind of a new catalog kickoff kind of a thing in conjunction with celebration celebration, which normally I kind of treat you guys to new catalog product um, stuff too. So just know it's it's not been forgotten. I'm just kind of waffling. I just can't decide what I want to do. And I keep waiting, you know, to find out, like, can we start having live stuff? And clearly, if you're not local, you weren't, wouldn't be able to come anyway. Um, so I will mail you everything. But I just want you to know that, that because I promoted that for so long during celebration, the like, thank you party for supporting my business during celebration with the celebration celebration. And then like, I haven't done anything with it. So it's not that I'm not going to, I'm just really hoping to do a live event and I'm waiting to hear if I can do that or not. So I will keep you guys posted, okay? Um, okay, so one more quick reminder about the class to go, which of course features our product of the week, the beautiful friendship stamp set. So this class to go, I'm just gonna kind of flash the card super quick. You would make, can I get that, that glare? Okay, you would make two of each of these cards with the class to go, right? You can't even see the beautiful flowers. Okay, they're a little bit. Anyway, so if you want more details, they're on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I've been posting about them there and on our Facebook group. So if you want to get those projects, there's an option with the stamp set. There's an option without the stamp set that you get the white ribbon and the rhinestones. It is awesome. You are going to love this stamp set. Hopefully, you've probably fallen in love with it throughout the week as I've been sharing. Just so you guys know, too, none of those projects are mine. I, because generally I like barely have enough time to do the two projects for the um, Facebook Live that we do and then maybe for the class to go and whatever else we have going on. So I don't ever want people to think um, that I'm taking credit for somebody else's work. Most times there's a watermark right on those pictures. So this is what I do. I pick my product of the week and then I hop over to Pinterest and I find some of my favorite projects that were made, for example, with the beautiful friendship stamp set. And then I grab those pictures off of Pinterest and I post them on our Facebook group because I want you guys to see um, projects that are 
they're made, and maybe I haven't even made uh, many of them yet because I'm still working on what I'm going to do for Facebook Live, right? So anyway, just know that I'm never trying to take credit for anybody else's work. I'm sharing other people's work because I want you to see how beautiful this stamp set is, and it truly, truly is gorgeous. So with that being said, we are going to flip the camera down right now. We're going to start our stamping right after I get organized too, though. Okay, so let's see. We will move, let's see, we'll get the host code right there. Get all my stuff out of the way. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I know that happens so much, doesn't it, Susan? She's saying that she loves the stamp set and she's hardly used it. This is the time of year when I say that about pretty much everything that's in my craft room. Oh, I wish I had more time to play with that. Oh, I wish I, had, I, wish I had played with that more. Because for me, once it retires, I don't use it anymore. I put it in my buy one, get one free sale, and I get rid of it. Because you guys can't order it, so I shouldn't show it to you and tease you with it, right? So, yeah, this is like my panic time right now, trying to get everything played with before we can't any longer. So that's why I don't usually show you guys much new stuff either, because I'm still like, but wait a minute, there's so much good stuff that we haven't played with enough yet. So anyway, this is definitely one of those. So this was my last ditch effort to like play like crazy with that stamp set. And I, I think I did a good job. So, okay, let's flip the camera down and we will get to do our stamping. So bear with me, turn your heads away for a sec while we get situated here. Oh, oh my. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. That's like, oh, it's not very tight. I should have stuck that in a little mount here. Okay. It's doing a lot of squeaking. Okay. We are going to flip it. Are we good? Oh, I've turned it too much, haven't I? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's never a good, I never have it quite right. You know, it's the trying part, right? Okay. You know, the other thing while I'm looking, I've got a few notes to remind myself to tell you guys about while I get a couple more things out here. Um, if you ever need help with anything, I've been trying to give my phone number because you can call or text me anytime. Honestly, I don't have real hours. I work kind of crazy hours. Um, if I can't, you know, answer the phone, just leave a message or send me a text and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if you ever need help with anything, um, especially ordering, because I know it can kind of be futzy, like where to put the host code and that sort of thing. So call me, text me anytime. My number is 989 three three zero zero two five nine and honestly if you're on my email list which hopefully every single one of you is because it's the best way to kind of um, stay connected with me and what's going on with the my stamp studio and um, stamp it up my phone number should be at the bottom of every single one of those email too okay there's like a little contact section at the bottom with my name and address and phone number so that's a great you know if you can't remember um don't have it written down just um find an email and the number is on there too okay so know that you can always call or text me if you have questions or problems with anything Okay. Um, with that being said, host code, this is our host code for this month, the month of May. So make sure if you do order online, use this host code so you get all the fun freebies from me. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring in my grid paper. We'll get that situated. Okay. So here, actually, I'm a little there. That looks pretty good, right? Okay. Um, so which one are we going to do first? Let's do this one. Well, I don't know. Is it simple? No, it's not simple, but lots of, so this one, I think I mentioned when I was, um, showing the cards last week for the class to go, you basically need lots of ink pad colors. You don't need much else. Honestly, this stamp set speaks for itself with the stamping alone, but isn't that so pretty? So this one, I think I shared a card and it used a similar color combination and I loved the color combination so much. I was like, okay, I'm going to adapt it um, for this uh, part of the stamp set because I think um, it was a little bit different. So anyway, I want to show you guys um, how to make this card. Um, and actually, there's no die cutting. Can you believe that? That does not happen very often. So let me tell you ink pad colors. I used Melon Mambo. Flirty Flamingo, I'm gonna need that one first. Granny Apple Green and Pineapple Punch. Isn't that, look at, 
What a great color combination. This one is retiring, so make sure if you don't have those retiring colors, get your pineapple punch ink pad and your ink refill if you don't have that because you don't want this to dry out and not have an ink refill. So, or any of the ink colors that are retiring, make sure you have the ink refills. Cardstock, ribbon, um, some, a couple of the ribbons I think are already sold out. So forget about those. But the ones that aren't sold out, if you want them, get those, okay? All right. Um... Let's see, we got this stuff, right? Okay, so let me tell you dimensions while I'm thinking about it. So this we are starting with Melon Mambo. Let's see, actually I wanna give you guys kind of a point of reference too. So if this is Melon Mambo. Let me show you guys what Magenta Madness. Can you see the difference? This one is it maybe a little bit more of a purpley pink and this is more of a bright pink? I don't know what I wanna say about it, but can you kinda of see the difference? I love comparing the colors. The lighting is a little weird in here too, but I think you kinda of get the idea. So this is the new Magenta Madness and that is our uh, current Melon Mambo, okay? All right, so we have our piece of cardstock, our eight and a half by 11. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Nice crisp fold, I love that. Okay, then we have a piece of, this is Granny Apple Green cardstock. And like I said, all of the dimensions are gonna be on my blog um, this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. So watch for that, it's not there yet, I gotta get everything uploaded. Um, but take notes now if you want, or you can always come back later and get the dimensions. Um, on my blog. Okay, so the Granny Apple Green measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths, okay? And then I have two pieces of Whisper White because I put one on the inside so that I wouldn't be confused. I did the exact same size on the outside and the inside. And these measure three and a half by four and three quarters. Again, two pieces of Whisper White, okay? So let's do our stamping. Let's try to see. Good. I do have my my grid paper here. We're going to pull this one because I think, actually, maybe I don't really stamp off the edge, do I? Well, just to be safe. Here, we'll do this one. There. Okay, so on our Whisper White piece, we're going to start with our Flirty Flamingo. Actually, you know what I do need to do? I need to grab, I'm going to use this guy. Oops. We're going to put this underneath here, too. Because this is such a big stamp, I wanna use my um, stamp and pierce mat to kind of stamp on, because I wanna make sure that I stamp it well. Okay, so we're gonna start with our big, I think these are roses, you guys, I'm not, I love flowers, I just don't know the names of many of them, but I feel like these are roses. Do you guys think they're roses? Okay, so we're gonna stamp that one. I'm gonna press firmly, I'm not wiggling or rocking. Okay, good, look at, isn't, even that is so pretty. So compared to, where's the stamp set, right? That image is not done justice. Once you put ink to it, it starts to kinda, you see. Okay, I get why this is such a pretty stamp set, right? Okay, and actually, you know what we're gonna do? Where's my other white piece? Because on the inside, I stamped that right there in the corner, so we're gonna do that also, so I don't keep opening and closing everything. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp that kind of in the corner. I love to do that, just kind of stamp in the corner. Hey, Erin, hello and welcome. Okay, next, actually we'll leave this one right here. So Melon Mambo is what we're gonna use next. I know, Susie, the colors are awesome, aren't they? Okay, so with that little baby stamp, nice, easy tap, 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 and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of, again, I love that watercolor look, and then there's this other little guy. I'm gonna turn it this way, right? We're gonna put that one right inside there, okay? So it's just kind of the inside of the flower, right? So that one is all done. Now we're gonna do the same thing inside these. So there's just this little, it's these stamps right here, because you can't really tell. There's that one and there's that one. That one goes in there and that one goes inside there, I think, and they actually kind of added that one in there already. You can kind of see it there, okay? Okay, so. Stamp one inside there and then the other one right there, okay? So that's all we need. Actually, no, it's not. Let's do our other with Melon Mambo because we have that open. We're gonna stamp our birthdays are the best days in Melon Mambo. I just have a little strip right here. 
Birthdays are the best days. One of my good friends is having a birthday today, actually. So maybe this will be her birthday card, now that I think about it. I'm, she lives just down the street, so I can uh, go drop it off in her mailbox, was my plan, actually. Okay, next, let's see, we'll move this guy out of the way. Let's come bring this one back in. Now we are gonna do our pineapple punch. I call these the spriggy flowers. There's probably a real name for them, but this is spriggy, spriggy flower to me. So we're gonna stamp one right there. I almost feel like this ink pad needs to be inked up a little bit, but that's okay. I kind of like it that it's a little bit lighter. We're gonna do one there, and then we will do one right there, okay? There, that's brighter now. <laughs> After I said that, I found a real inky spot, of course. Okay, next step. So you can see how easy this is to just build. We're gonna use Granny Apple Green for the leaves, okay? So again, just nice, easy tap, 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 and we're gonna put, and every one of these looks a little bit different, to be honest. It all starts with where I put my Fleur de Flamingo flower, and everything kind of builds around that. And that's all we're gonna do with our stamping there, okay? All right, scoot those out of the way. So I think we are ready to put our card together. So do you see how, like look at how quick and simple and easy, but look at how gorgeous that is. And then you just add a little bit of texture and dimension with the pearls and whatever that is called. I think the braided, is it braided burlap? Yeah, braided burlap trim. This is retiring too. I'm trying to, um, when I list the products and item codes, I'm trying to put the word retiring after them um, on my blog so that you guys know. Those are the things you got to get them right away if you want them, okay? Um, so yeah, this um, braided burlap trim is retiring, and I just kind of used it. Actually, we're going to cut that right now. We'll pull it apart in a sec, but there we go. Kind of trim that off there. No, you know, no, we're going to pull it apart in a sec because those little fibers get everywhere and I don't want them to get everywhere while I'm trying to put things together. Okay, so we are going to add, you guys have heard too, right? Snail and the snail refills are retiring. Um, I feel like maybe they were on low inventory or even on back order for a hot second. I think that they're back now, but get these while you can. I don't know anything other than Sarah and Shelly, again, in their video, said the new um, adhesive is awesome, and I'm sure it is. Um, so we will be learning more in the coming weeks about our new adhesive. That'll be one of the things I need to remember. It's a basic, not something that I usually think to order right away, but we're going to need to get that ordered so we can check it out and play with it. And I think there's, I can't remember what it's called, um, but whatever, it's an adhesive, and then there's like a mega adhesive. I'm assuming it's a little more like fast fuse, like it's a sturdier one. I'm pretty sure they said it's what they, you would use for 3D projects. So I'm super excited about that one. Okay, let's do, this is the Everyday Label Punch. You're right, Philomena, it is like the Healing Hugs, which is another one. I don't think that's retiring though. I have to check on that, but I don't think it is, which I'm happy about, right? Oops, definitely some adhesive stuck on here. <laughs> yes, try to order the Tombow and Snail every other order. Yeah, because you always need it, don't you? It's one of those boring things. It's kind of like cardstock, too. You know, <laughs> you can't really make many cards without it, but it's not very exciting to have to order, right? Where are my dimensionals? Here we go. I'm going to use some minis because I want to, I'll explain this in a sec. I want to um, not have these touching the burlap. So I'm using the minis so that my burlap can go right through there. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have like the crying face there, Susan. I know, I know. Okay, so now this is my favorite thing to do with this. Do you see how you can just pull it apart? Oh, right. Yeah, Tombow's not retiring, right? But the snail is, right? Nikki, are you? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, because they're coming out with something new. I hope we're talking about the same thing. Snail and the refills are retiring. Tombow is not. If that's not true, let me know, Nikki. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. You guys are good at keeping up on things, though. Okay, so can you see I'm just kind of pulling that apart? I love I love that little shreddy there at the end. But what happens is, is it kind of bounces back. So I have to, 
I tend to keep kind of playing with them. Okay, so we're gonna run that right along there, about like that, okay. So we're gonna just add some adhesive there. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about healing hugs. Okay, nope, it's not retiring. Good, okay, I didn't think that it was. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Is that like squirrel? <laughs> Oh my, you know, thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> oh boy. Thanks, Nikki. Yes, I find it humorous. Maybe nobody else does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So like I said, we're going to run the burlap right in between there because I don't, I hate it. Hate, that's not a nice word. Um, I don't like it when um, things are lopsided. Like I don't want one coming up higher than the other, if that makes sense. Don't want this lopsided, right? Okay, so we got that. Now, last step, I always, I just have to sprinkle. I'm like all about this sprinkling of um, the pearls or rhinestones or whatever. We just have to put a few of these little babies around our card. I don't know, there's just something about it. So you can see those little fibers go everywhere. You probably can't, but I can. Okay. So there we go, look at that. So see how simple that was? Just stamping basically, right? And then just add a little bit of texture there. So you could make this card too. Um, it's not included in the class to go, but it would certainly be easy. And I think I probably used all of these ink pad colors um, on my class to go cards too, but that super, super simple. You just need a little bit of burlap and um, some pearls and you're all set. Okay, and that's the fun thing about this stamp set is really it's basically stamps and ink and cardstock and then maybe a little bit of an embellishment. You really don't need much because the stamp set is so beautiful all on its own. And another shout out to Stampin' Up! because of the beauty of the coordination of our colors, right? So for example, right, we've got our Melon Mambo cardstock and our Melon Mambo ink and our Granny Apple Green cardstock and our Granny Apple Green ink, right? Love that about Stampin' Up! makes it so easy to make beautiful coordinating projects. Okay, um, let's see. I'm looking at my next card. I know I need, I think I need these two. I was trying to put colors away that I don't need. And I'm going to clean all of my stamps. I think I might need some of them. Um, but we're going to clean them all. Oh, <laughs> she will have a great birthday if I give her that card, right, Debbie? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're just cleaning these off. You guys have a chamois yet? You need a chamois if you don't have it. Fabuloso, right here. So easy to clean, look at that, right? And all you need is water. I still don't understand how it works, but <laughs> it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> okay, um, okay, I'm gonna scoot those over here. I'm just really afraid I'm gonna like, um, use the wrong stamp. You know, it could happen, right? Okay, so hold on. Quick sip of water because I'm super excited to show you guys. Well, actually, do you remember all of last week I showed this beautiful card that my downline Diana Boone sent to me and I loved it so much and she used that stamp set. So, okay, and do you remember? What I loved about it was the stamping, right? And then the fold on the card. So, guess what? I was like, okay, I gotta make one too. So this is my version of Diana's card. Changed the colors a little bit. I had to use the new country floral embossing folder. And then we did... Yeah, so you can see, right, all the beautiful stamping. I loved that fold, though. Oh, this would be another good one I could give my friend Lynn for her birthday, too, right? So very happy to know you. I love our beautiful friendship. Happy birthday. Oh, my gosh, this would be a great one, too. What fun. Okay, so let me show you how I kind of adapted Diana's beautiful card and came up with this one. Very, very similar, obviously, right? Just changed colors and the um, embossing up a bit. And again, so Susan and everyone, I will give you dimensions right now, and then they'll also be on my blog at gatheringexpiration.com in case you forget or you go to make it later. Just go over there and find today, so Friday, May 15th, find that blog post that will be called uh, Facebook Friday Beautiful Friendship is what it will be called or some version of that, right? Okay, so... Let's see, let me grab the things that I'm gonna need. Let's see, what do I wanna do? Actually, let's give you dimensions right now. All right, too many things. I know, the color combination, Debbie, it is gorgeous, isn't it? So I'll tell you, I have too many, 
<laughs> Sorry, I keep like going back and forth and back and forth. Um, cause I, okay, I can do it. I can do it. I know I can. So maybe I didn't use pineapple punch. I'm thinking I didn't. I'm trying to look. Okay, color combination. This is it. Let's make sure. Yep, I know for sure I started with Coastal Cabana. And then the roses are in Mango Melody. That's what those are. Then we did, we used Daffodil Delight for these other flowers right here. I'll show you that in a sec. And then we ended with the Granny Apple Green leaves. Okay. Um, nope, I did use Pineapple Punch because then the Spriggy flowers, again, are in Pineapple Punch. So check out this color combination. That's kind of a fun one too, right? These all look pretty similar. Um, on here, but I think they do look enough different when you stamp on them there, right? Thanks, Barb. I appreciate that. I know this is just a beautiful color combination. Okay. All right. So let's see. We don't need this one. These need that one. Okay. Actually, I think the only one we need is the spriggy. Okay. <laughs> In the attempt to be organized. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so let me give you, yeah, was, was I going to give you dimensions? I think that's what I was going to do next. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a basic card base right here, right? Our um, Coastal Cabana, this is Coastal Cabana cardstock. Okay, so imagine this is our full sheet of Coastal Cabana cardstock is what we start with. Eight and a half by 11, always, it seems like these days, I cut it in half at five and a half and score it in half at four and a quarter, Okay. So there's our fold on our card, right? Okay. Then we have a, another piece that we embossed. Coastal Cabana. <laughs> Squirrel, I know. It's really bad, Debbie. It's really, really, really bad. Four inches by five and a quarter inches. Uh, so there's that one. Then this is the one you kind of need to make sure you know about because this is new, right? Woohoo! This is Whisper White and it measures five by seven and a half, and then I scored it in half along the seven and a half at three and three quarters. So you fold it, and then it's gonna go this way inside here, okay? So it's gonna go like that right there, okay? So that's the main one that's a little bit different, right? And then I just have these one inch wide strips, and I'm just gonna stamp and cut it down, and I'll show you how I did that. So let's do our stamping and then we're going to do our die cutting and embossing and then we'll put everything together. I think that's a good plan for me. <laughs> Help me remember that now, would you ladies? Okay, so actually let's do this strip. So we're going to do this so very happy. See how, how boring that looks? And then you put the colors in there. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? Okay, so that one I used, oh, excuse me. No, that's not it. Daffodil Delight. They look too similar. They really do, don't they? And they're quite a bit different colors. Mango Melody is what we're gonna stamp our sentiment in, okay? So we have our so very happy to know you. We're gonna put that one right there, okay? Then I'm gonna close that back up and we're gonna start our stamping on our Whisper White piece. So this one, we are stamping on this, is that right? Yes, yes. There we go, we're gonna stamp on that piece right there. But I am gonna bring back in my stamp and pierce map. So again, this is the piece that's gonna get adhered. This is what we're stamping on, okay? So it's backwards, it feels really, really, really backwards to me right now. But that's what we have to do. Okay, so we're gonna start with the middle Coastal Cabana, the Hydrangea, I think, is what this is called, pretty sure. The big pom-poms, right? So we're just gonna stamp that in the middle, okay? And you can see, it, it's not that I didn't stamp this up very well, this is how it's supposed to look, some darker and some lighter. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. You can kind of tell that on here too. Do you see how it's got some darker and some lighter shading? That's how it's supposed to stamp. So don't be upset that you didn't stamp it well. You did just fine, that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, so since this was a few days ago, actually, because I had to clean yesterday. Normally, I would be prepping my Facebook Live cards, but, you know, I had to do this earlier. I think I actually did them on Monday, which is amazing for me. It was really ahead of the game. So now I'm trying to remember, what did I do way back on Monday? We are using, this one is your Mango Melody. I just inked this up, and I really feel like it needs to be re-inked again. I guess I didn't put enough ink on it but that's okay. There we go. There, that third one got it. 
Now it's probably too dark, but that's okay. So we did those roses in Mango Melody, okay? Next, we are gonna do, I don't know, whatever flower that is. We're gonna do those in Daffodil Delight. It's funny how much um, dustier this yellow looks than I think it does normally. It's very kind of dusty yellow. We're gonna do one more right there. And one more right there, okay? I think that's good. Yeah, we'll see. If I have to fill anything in, it's funny. I think I space things out a little bit differently. But that's kind of the neat thing about this is you can kind of just do whatever you like. So now we have pineapple punch for our spriggy flower again. We're going to kind of fill in. So let's see, maybe we'll do, oops, that's going the wrong way, isn't it, right? So we'll do one there. We're gonna do one there. I feel like I need one more of those. I know what I'm gonna do. I kept kind of looking at that. I need one more of these roses. I'm gonna call these roses too. They're just like a sideways rose, maybe. I'm gonna do one more right about there, okay. Then we just need to add in some green. So it looks, it's like, it is a little bit busy, but it's fun how once you add the green, I think that break, it breaks things up a little bit. And then when you fold it back, how pretty it is. Okay, so then with this leaf, and I will tell you guys, I've been priding myself on like using um, many, many of um, the stamps in our stamp set. I love doing that. So I'm just kind of adding these green, flowers kind of in between where I did the daffodil delight flowers okay so hopefully you guys can all see that right so that's the idea I don't think oh I know the one other thing so on the inside I did I love our beautiful friendship but I did that one in coastal cabana so it's going to go like this we're going to flip this open so we're going to stamp right here in there oops that's so very happy to know you we want this one I love our beautiful friendship we are gonna ink that up. So always nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. Oh, I love that font too, that cursive, so pretty. I always wanna be the person that can write like that, right? Nancy, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I think now we can do our die cutting. So we're gonna get all of these ink pads out of the way. Yes, ma'am, okay. Lots of moving around of stuff. This one is all good. We don't have to do any die cutting on here. What we need to do is we need to die cut this piece and this one with our oval. So we're gonna do that first, right? Because we wanna have the peek through and then we will emboss that piece next. Okay, so let me grab the die cutting machine. Is that in view? Enough, right? Okay. We are using, these are the, oops, I pulled them all out. Okay, we'll fix that later. These are the layering oval dies, and we are using the very largest oval, straight edge oval, okay? All right. Ooh, that's messy. This must be the one Lily was working with. <laughs> you know, I would never leave all that on there, right? <laughs> Sorry, Lil. Okay, so we are going to lay that. I'm trying to make sure I'm really doing this right. Yep, okay, so we're gonna lay this and I'm just trying to um, center it right in the middle of everything, okay? On the front panel, I guess I should say. And I'm gonna just do, sorry, that wiggle's bad, isn't it? Okay. All right, so then you can save this oval and use it for something else. I'm glad you liked the card, Nancy. Okay, so did you guys see? That's what we're starting with. So there's our front, okay? Then we are also gonna, this is our embossed piece. And we are gonna try to line this up so it's in the middle of everything. So hopefully, and you know what? Because they're the same color, if it's not totally perfect, it's gonna be okay. Because you won't even really be able to tell. Sorry, there's definitely something loose on here. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a sec when we go to do it. So then you have another oval. 
as well that you can use on something else. Okay, now we need to, we're gonna emboss this piece with our new, um, what was it called? Ornate floral, yeah, ornate floral embossing folder. Okay, so the brand new, you can order this now. I'll give you the item code, it's 152725. I will also have it on my blog at gatheringexpression.com. Okay, so we're gonna just pop this. And this one, there is a line, but I don't think it really matters. There's kind of an all over pattern on this one, okay? All right, so we're gonna emboss this baby. And voila, isn't that, there's something about those little baby flowers. I just love them, okay. But we will scoot this out of the way and I'll show you how we're gonna get this card to come together. So the first step is actually putting this piece inside. Mm, nope, actually it goes this way. I was like, how did I do that? Because I wanna lay that right on here and I'm gonna line it up and then this is gonna go over it so you cover up this strip. Does that make sense? I'm gonna trim it because I think that looks pretty good, right? So I'm gonna trim it at about there. I'm gonna flip it and then we'll trim it again right about there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some adhesive on the back of both of these, okay? And again, we're just gonna, oops, that's upside down, so that's not gonna work very well, right? So we're just gonna run that right there, okay? Now we're gonna add a bunch of adhesive. And this is, before I put this on here, this is what I was saying was hopefully I got that oval in the center and this one in the center. But if things are off a little bit, which it looks like maybe they are actually. Yeah, I got one a little bit higher than the other. So you can either show a little bit of that or maybe you just move this and it's not totally um, lined up. And that's okay. Cause really, I mean, does it matter if there's a little bit more cardstock showing um, down here than there. I don't think so. And honestly, what I'll probably do afterwards is I'll go back and cut that off a little bit. So that would be another trick. I didn't bring my paper trimmer over, um, but I wouldn't stress too much, you know, so I got this one up a little bit higher than this one, but it's not a big deal. You can fix it, which I will, which I will do because I am a little bit anal. I would like to try to get it as close as I can, but you can always trim things off a little bit. I think it's more important to get these ovals lined up. I didn't like seeing that down there, if you know what I mean. We'll just do this right here and get everything lined up. I did a pretty good job side to side, not quite as well top to bottom, but that's okay, right? So the nice thing is that covers up that little strip, right? Now, where's my other piece? Now we just need to add a bunch of adhesive on the back of this piece so that it stays well on our card. Oops. There. Okay, and then this one we are just gonna kind of, I think this one's important to get kind of centered around on the inside here, okay? So we're just gonna do that right there, okay? So basic, right? Open, love our beautiful friendship, right? So then you just have to add a little bit of, I loved um, Diana's touch with the polka dot tool ribbon, so I just went with that also. So we're just gonna tie a white polka dot tool. And I'm so glad that this ribbon is not retiring. I think we've had it for a couple of years. So I was kind of wondering if it would go, but not yet. And it's just a perfect dainty little ribbon to add on to so many, many things. Okay. I can just... <laughs> I really have no idea why I just had this thought, um, but I was thinking, so um, our Maui trip that we were supposed to have in July has been postponed because of the whole Corona, sorry, I'm, I'm going to like play with that forever. Anyway, um, which is a big bummer, right? I mean, you know, it is what it is and we'll, we'll all be fine and happy and move on. Um, but it just occurred to me, because I think as I saw this little label on here, that we always get so much free product on those trips and we're not gonna be getting that this year. And it's just, I hadn't even thought about that. Like I was really bumming that we weren't going to Maui and now I'm like, oh, 
<laughs> I'm almost in tears thinking about all the new product that we would normally get that we're not going to get now. <laughs> so, oh, oh well. It is what it is, right? Life moves on, but okay, sorry. I'm on my little tangent there. I just had to share that, sorry. <laughs> Probably didn't even need to. This is definitely one of those, somebody was saying, oh, you're always so chatty on your Facebook Lives. I'm like, yeah, there's usually at least one, if not a couple of things that I say that later I'm like, why did I say that? And th that's probably gonna be one of them. They're like, just keep your mouth shut, Amy. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, it is what it is. So, okay, so back to, right, beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you so much, Philomena. And like I said, not to take any thunder, any um, credit away from Miss Diana who sent this card to me. Thank you so much for your inspiration on this card, Miss Diana Boone. I loved it and thought, oh, we gotta make it ourselves, right? So, okay. Quick recap here, and I will stop talking for the day, right? So if you are interested in ordering any of these products, I'm sure, honestly, ladies, if you do not have the beautiful Friendship stamp set, you're really gonna want this stamp set. It is awesome. Actually, go ahead and get the class to go if you really want this stamp set, because then I'll give you a bunch of ideas, and then you'll have these two also. So, okay. With that being said, though, put your online order in of at least $30. Where's my other card? You are going to get the make and takes or the completed cards, whichever one you want, with at least a $30 order. These cards are right here. And your name is entered into the drawing to win the Regal's 6x6 Designer Series Paper Stack. Bump your order up to $50, and you get to pick either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial or a package of pearls with your online order of at least $50 in May. Okay? All right, I think we got it all covered. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Sorry, I got a little chatty as usual. Sun is starting to peek out around here too, which I'm very happy about. So, okay, you guys have a great afternoon, a great Friday, a great weekend, and I will see you right back here, right? Because where else are we gonna be next Friday at 11.30 a.m.? Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me.